All right, welcome back to the channel. And today we will be taking a look at some Karens and some interesting moments and some wholesome moments as well. But before we get started, just make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. So in this first video, we have a married couple that end up going to McDonald's and they end up going inside, but the manager tells them he can't serve them because they are closed, except the drive-through, which I've seen before. So this is not too surprising to me. So the couple decides to record this manager and try to embarrass him online, but it all backfired and the guy recorded Gordon even deleted all his social medias, but check it out for yourself. Uh, Just because the door was open doesn't mean it's not locked. Uh, well, what does it mean, mate? Listen to what you said. What? So if you Just lock, because the door's open. You can open it with from this side with a handle, but it's locked from the other side. From this side to get out, but not to come in. So yes. that's your responsibility to lock the door to get out. But a customer had left and left the door. Well, that's your fault as the manager. <laughs> So let, let me get this straight. The customer left the door open. So I had locked it at 11 o'clock and there was one customer left waiting for their food. Okay. And then that's out and left the door open. And we opened the door From and that's our problem. Outside, not the well, inside, the outside. you know outside. that our dining room is closed. Yep, that's fine. Well, so I can't serve you. Yep, okay. And we can't go through the drive through If you're in a car, you can. Yep. A motorcycle. A right. What's your name, mate? Salim. Salim. Yep. Yep. You feel proud about yourself, mate? But proud. you can't manage your own store? Well, I don't own the store. So. Well, you're a manager, I'm here to opportunity, you're responsible yes. for the store, and you can't make sure that no one can come in. Right. So you're complaining now that you're in the store? No, no. I'm not complaining that we're in the store, that we came in the store for service with the doors open to be able to come in and order and a meal. Well, I apologise. You couldn't lock the door. The door's locked. Like it's not locked, locked from the outside. The door's open. If the There's door was locked, time. how could we get in? Not hard, buddy, hey? How yeah. can we get. How could we get in, in the, the door? doesn't close when it's left open, it just okay, sits like so that. Okay, so you as a manager are failing your duties and you should well, go I back apologize. into your do you management courses. I apologise. Look, go through the door and come back in. Come back I'm in the locked door. Do Why not? Because you could lock me out. Well, we walked in. I've, I've explained to you that the door locks from the inside yep. and it can be open from the inside. Can it can it be outside. open from the outside? No, you can close the door and you can't open the door. So, if you close the door, you can't open the door? No. Yep. So how did we get in? Because the door was left open. Because you was the manager fact. Because the door was f***ing closed, mate. Close it now and try and open it. Alright, good. Close it. Close it. Go outside no, and close it. I'm sure we can open it. How did we get in? Yep. If you close it, it will lock and you won't be able to get back in. So how did we get in? Because the door was left open. So someone left the door open? Yes. Yep, and we couldn't get I've in. I told you that. Yeah. All right, no worries. I understand what you're trying Just to go do. back and do your management training. And they're okay. All right, so the next video, we have this 70 year old lady that was driving on the streets when an officer realized that she was driving like she was under the influence. So the officer pulls her over to conduct the traffic stop. Now the lady looks harmless until her actions start raising the officer's suspicion with her behavior and then things take a left turn. But check it out for yourself and let me know what you think. What are you doing? Recording that as a criminal What are you doing? Out of where? Out of here. Okay, this is a one way. Yeah, but do I go down go this ahead. lane or that lane? Well, this is a one way. This is a one way? Negative. Who's it on? This is a one way? Yeah. Do you have your driver's license on you? Gene and Hanson. Okay, just stand by. Oh, just wait here. Do you have your driver's license? Yeah. Okay. Come on out here. Where are you going? Where are you trying to go tonight? Hardy's. To Hardy's? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you were about to turn on me. 
as I, you know what I mean? Like you're gonna go the wrong way because you probably were trying to cross over there. Right. Yeah. And then when you came over here, you're driving down two lanes, down the skip stripe. Yeah, yeah that, And that other the, the other driver is kind of like, what are you doing? And the then you barrel. pull over in the construction area. Yeah, the construction area was perplexing. Okay, all right, can you come over here for sure. a second? Yeah. Do you have anything on you? Anything sharp? Any weapons or anything? Nope. Okay, can you just come over here for me? Sure. Where are you coming from tonight? Minneapolis. Minneapolis, is that where you live or? Yep. Yeah, okay. No, nothing in, oh, okay. I thought I felt a wallet or something. Yeah. Do you want to have a seat in my back car? Well, I don't want to have a seat in your back car. So Why? this is a deal. I just ran this license plate and something came back. So I got to figure it out. So I'm just going to put you back here until I can figure it out. Okay. Can I shut my, I will take, we're not going, no, we're not going to go anywhere yet. Let's just stay here and we're just going to figure out what's going on. And then why did they run my license plate? I ran it when I made a traffic stop. So. Let's just go sit here back here well, for right now. Let me okay. Set it off. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want you to go back in the car, okay? Ma'am, ma'am, no, ma'am. No, that's all I have to do. Ma'am, I don't want you. No, ma'am, ma'am. Wait a minute. You're let not me. allowed to come in here. What? No. Stay out let of the me, car. Let me stop. Stay, ma'am. Do not get in that car. No! Don't! That's all I have to do. Ma'am, I don't want you. No, ma'am, ma'am. Wait a minute. You're let not me. allowed to come in here. What? No. Stay out let of the me, car. Let me stop. Stay, ma'am, do not get in that car. No! So in this part of the video, this lady ends up pointing a weapon right at the officer. And she was identified as Jean Ann Hansen. And basically starts making terrible decisions because she really wants to go to Hardee's. But let's keep watching. She's got a gun! 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 She just pointed a gun at me, took off towards Hardee's. I got a St. Paul officer with me. Copy that. She pointed it on and you and tap off. Are you going to pursue her? Negative. I don't see where she went. Play back the camera. See where she went. She pointed a gun at me. I don't know. They're trying to look on camera. She had a warrant. She went north on Hamlin. I don't know if she went back on St. Anthony. She said she was headed to Hargeys. I got in my car right away. I think she went north to Hamlin. Tactical breathing is a method of using your breath to change how you feel physically and emotionally, to focus your attention, and improve your performance. Here, Officer Frankfurt does exactly this. Looks like he's on a stop. I'll go and check on him. For East Metro, Lieutenant just got a gun pointed at her and the vehicle took off. Uh, she said she was going to Hardee's, but she's not around here. Her flight's been advised. They're in the air. They're going to start to the area. Let's watch them with contact on the way to the I don't know if it was real, but she went over and she grabbed it and she pointed. Uh, big silver one. Yeah. Patrol patch from LTAC 1 for a female driver that pointed a firearm at the trooper and then left in the area of Hamlin in 94. Metro, what was the plate? Edward Stanley in 984 for 2010 Honda Accord White and Color. Uh, Sorry, I'm just trying to. <laughs> All right, so eventually officers finally caught up with her, and according to TwinCities.com, officers recovered a replica weapon that was fashioned from foil and duct tape, and they also found a large knife in the car. I mean, I don't know what this lady was planning on doing when she was trying to drive to Hardee's, but luckily she was pulled over. But she also admitted that she took different pills mixed with tequila. But what really surprises me is that in this same article, it says that she had an earlier incident where she caught a charge for wielding a shotgun. And most of the charges that she got when she was pulled over were dismissed. I don't know, I feel like that was just a slap on the wrist, but I mean, let me know down in the comments what you think. All right, so the next video takes place on Halloween, which happened recently. And this lady basically went to this guy's house because she was receiving complaints. I guess she's like the HOA manager. So she said she received about 10 different complaints about kids making noises. And in the beginning of the video, you do see the kids, you know, yelling and stuff. 
And the dad is just saying that it's just kids being kids and it's Halloween. So people in the comment section was picking sides, you know. So I'm curious to know what you guys think. Who's in the right? Who's in the wrong? Let me know down in the comment section, but check it out. Karen got caught in 4K. Thank So I'm going to ask you mm -hmm. to keep them inside. For okay? what reason? So I am the president of POA. I've had numerous people complaining about a noise complaint. Numerous. I came out to walk the neighborhood just to see what was going on. Mm -hmm. And they are hiding in the bushes, barking at me. They're being kids. I understand that. But when I have like multiple. It's 9.15 after I know, 10 o'clock. I know, being too but loud, I'm telling we'll you something. on our Canterbury site, I mean, I have like. Almost 10 houses now have contacted me. Okay. I hate this job. I really do. Obviously, you don't because you're still doing it. Well, no. I'm, I'm about to give it up, actually, yeah. at the next meeting. Yeah. But I've had numerous complaints. I just came out yeah. here to say, hey. But then they're, like, barking at me and running. And they're doing kid stuff. They're kids. That's what's wrong with this world because people like you and those other people don't let kids be kids, okay? I I so we appreciate you stopping by. We appreciate you stopping by. Have a nice night. Okay. All right, so the next video takes place in this establishment. I'm not sure exactly where this place is. I thought it was the DMV, but the employees are already sick and tired of dealing with this customer, so they end up calling security, or I'm not sure they're police officers, but even the police officers are fed up with this lady to the point that they start going back and forth, and the encounter is a little bit crazy, but check it out for yourself. Alright, I couldn't find a wholesome video that's worth watching to put on here, so I'll try to see if I find one for the next video, but thank you for watching. Let me know down in the comment section which one is your favorite video, and I'm going to leave it at that, and we out.